Hello children, welcome to the science class. Today we will discuss about chapter 6. So children, kindly open your book, page number 59. Chapter 6, Changes Around Us. From this chapter, we will learn classification of changes, factors affecting changes, application of expansion and contraction. So first we will start classification of changes. Changes can be classified on different basis. First one is natural and man-made changes. The changes which occur naturally are called natural changes. For example, volcanic explosions, rain, cyclones, hurricanes, earthquakes and ripening of fruits. Then the changes which are caused by humans are called man-made changes or artificial changes. Some examples are cutting down trees, laying roads, blowing up balloons, etc. Then slow and fast changes. Some changes are slow and they take hours, days or even years to occur. For example, milk takes some hours to set into curd. An infant takes several years to become an adult. On the other hand, some changes like bursting of a firecracker, burning of a paper or breaking of a glass take only seconds or milliseconds to occur. These are called fast changes. Periodic and non-periodic changes. Some changes which occur after regular time intervals are called periodic changes. For example, heartbeat, tides in sea water, phase of moon are all periodic changes. But some changes do not occur at regular intervals. For example, earthquakes, rusting of iron, etc. These are non-periodic changes. Periodic changes are predictable, but non-periodic changes are unpredictable in general. Desirable and undesirable changes. The changes that are useful or beneficial to us are called desirable changes. For example, our food to be cooked and our homes to be cool in summers and warm in winter. Then the changes that are harmful to us are known as undesirable changes. For example, we do not want iron to rust, food to spoil, etc. Reversible and irreversible changes. A change which can be reversed to the initial state of object is called a reversible change. For example, evaporation of water, freezing of water to ice, melting of wax, etc. But a change which cannot be reversed to the initial state of object is called an irreversible change. For example, cooking of food, growing of plants and animals, ripening of fruits, etc. Then physical and chemical change. A change in which no new substance is formed and the substance only undergoes a change in its shape, size, appearance or state is known as physical change. Therefore, most of the physical changes are temporary as the substance remains the same before and after the change. By reversing the process, the original substance can be obtained. For example, freezing of water, tearing a paper, dissolving salt or sugar in water, etc. Then chemical change. A change in which a new substance that is different from the original substance is formed is called a chemical change. Mostly chemical changes are reversible and permanent as the new substances formed have properties different 
from the original substance energy in the form of heat or light is either absorbed or given out during chemical changes for example cooking vegetables burning of paper wood and fuels like petrol diesel kerosene etc rusting of iron also a chemical change then com- conversion of milk to cottage cheese preparation of soap from oils these are all chemical changes factors responsible for changes first one is force applying a force can change the shape or size of an object when an inflated balloon is pressed its shape changes when a potter applies force on a lump of soil he gives shape to the lump then heating some physical changes such as melting of ice evaporation of water and cooking of food take place when the original substance is heated burning of paper or wood etc is a chemical change which takes place only when the original substance is heated so heating is one of the most important conditions required for a change then adding water addition of water to some substances leads to physical changes and in some substances it leads to chemical changes for example addition of water to wheat flour causes physical changes when water is added to cement a permanent change takes place it is a chemical change effects of heating and cooling on substances every change that takes place around us involves energy most substances increase in size and volume on heating the increase in the volume of a substance is called expansion for example milk rises in the vessel on boiling mercury rises in the thermometer with increase in temperature metals expand on heating etc the process of melting and vaporization is considered as expansion cooling causes materials to contract the decrease in the volume of a substance is called contraction solids contract the least while gases contract the most solidification and condensation can be considered as contraction so expansion and contraction are reversible physical changes applications of expansion and contraction one number to fit a metal rim on a wooden cart wheel the metal rim is heated to expand so that it can easily slip over the wheel then cold water is poured over it so that the rim contracts and fits the wheel tightly two number we are able to use a thermometer to read temperature because mercury expands on taking heat from the body mercury is a metal which is liquid at room temperature three number a tight metal lid on a glass jar can be opened by immersing the lid in hot water so that it expands and opens easily glass is a bad conductor of heat so it does not expand as much as the metal four number gears are left between railway tracks to allow for expansion of metal due to hot weather these are called expansion joints so children again you read this lesson properly at your home thank you